Hi there. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at break even and how to calculate break even. Now, if like my students, you're uh, an Edexcel GCSE business studies student uh, sitting uh, your exam this summer, the current Edexcel GCSE business studies, the one really main bit of uh, formula you've got to learn is, a, is to be confident around calculating profit and calculating break even. So it's really important that you do learn this formula off by heart as part of your revision or these formulae, because we're also going to have a quick look at margin of safety in this video as well. So break even output is calculated as total fixed costs divided by contribution per unit. And remember, our contribution per unit is the selling price of our product take away the variable cost of the product uh, incurred in making the product. So as I said in a separate video on profit, if we were making something for £100 and the variable cost in terms of packaging and raw materials that we incurred was £60 for every unit we made, the remaining £40 would be our contribution per unit. And that has two jobs. Its first priority is to pay off our fixed costs. And then from there on in, anything above that uh, will become profit. Now, our margin of safety is the difference between what we either expect to be our output or what our current level of output is and our break-even output. And so anything above our break-even output in terms of our current or forecasted output is sort of a, a safety net, if you like, a cushion an amount uh, that we're making above our break-even output, and our output can fall by that amount before it actually falls below breaking even output, and at that point, we'd obviously the business would start to make a loss. So that's why we call it the margin of safety. It's that that cushion, that buffer between what you need to break even and that extra amount that you actually are currently or forecasting to make and sell. So let's bring in an example of break-even output and margin of safety. So let's assume uh, that we've got uh, a product that has cost us £9,300,000 in fixed costs to develop uh, and bring to the market. So that's £9,300,000 fixed costs. And our contribution per unit, we've calculated it. We've got a selling price of, we'll just put in a little sub-calculation under here. We had a selling price of £95 and we took away £47 of variable cost per unit. And that gave us, let's draw an arrow up to that there, our contribution per unit of £48. So what we do is we take our fixed costs, 9,300,000, we divide it by the contribution per unit, so we divide it by 48, uh, and that gives us a break-even output of 1,009, sorry, 193,750. Now, it's quite a common mistake for students to think that this, uh, this formula is a monetary value and put some sort of a pound sign or something in front of this. That's a big mistake. You mustn't do that. that, that that's incorrect. The outcome of this formula is not a monetary amount. It's, it's a, an output in terms of the number of units of the product. So if this, for example, was a, a, an e-reader, uh, a product like the Kindle, it would be 193,750 Kindles. So it's the number of units, okay, units of production that our break even comes out at. And then if we come down here, I've done a little margin of safety calculation here. So let's assume that our current or our forecast output is 250,000 of these units of this product. And as we've seen, our break even output is calculated, we've worked it out to be 193,750. And so that gives us a margin of safety of 56,250. So we could let our output fall by 56,250 down from 250,000 towards 193,750. And still at any point above this, it would we would still make some form of profit. But once it had fallen by 56,250 down to this level here, clearly at break even we're making neither a profit nor a loss. And if it falls any further, we would move into a situation where we were producing less than our break even and we'd therefore be making a loss. So what I'm going to do is give you an example now to have a go at yourself. So we'll change some of these, uh, these pieces of information around. So this time we're going to bring in a situation where a business has fixed costs of 1,645,000 and they have a product which they sell for £30. 
so selling price. And they have uh, fixed costs on that product, sorry, variable costs on that product of £12.50. So £12.50 variable cost per unit. Okay, so let's just clear away some of these old calculations here. And so let's say that they forecast or expect to make or sell uh, in their first year 106,000 units of this product. What I'd like you to do is have a go at calculating the break-even output for this particular business, for this product. Okay, and then once you've done that and you've calculated your break-even figure up here, Bring it down here and see if you can also calculate the margin of safety. Are they expecting forecasting to have a larger output than their break even? So will it be a positive figure? Uh, and if so, just how much will it be? So that's uh, what I'd like you to do. If you're a student at another school watching this, perhaps do it and get your teacher to check it. And for my students, there's every chance you're watching this because I've set it for you as a homework task. So good luck with it and I look forward to marking it in class. Thanks, that's all for now.